Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for Scorpio. I have a couple oracle decks. I'm going to pull some cards from my tarot. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull one from each. Let me take what resonates, okay? Um, we have def differences, the warrior, and wishing. Alright, so there might be something that you're wishing and praying for or trying to manifest, right? I feel like you have been through a lot with the warrior card. It's like something in your life that you've always had to go through. I feel like you guys always go through some type of troubles. Warriors are like somebody who's constantly has some, having some type of battles to fight, right? And you might also like to fight or help other people fight their battles. Um, you have this card, which is differences. This is like learning to like, you know... Notice that not everybody is like us or exactly like us. You see how it's got the two cats, but they're different colors, so they're same, but they're different. And then they got the two fruits, which is the apple and the orange, they're the same, but they're different, right? So I feel like um, there might be some conflict with um, agreements and stuff like that with certain people, or you might not see eye to eye with certain people, right? Threes want to keep on falling out. Three and three. Nothing will come of this situation, okay? So this might be the reason why you are fighting because these differences are too different and maybe you guys just can't find like a common like ground. It says it's time to release negativity, okay? That is Scorpio, so you guys are coming strong in your own reading and then you have your hard work is paying off, Capricorn. All right, so you guys might be dealing with Cap Capricorn Scorpio, obviously you're Scorpio, um, but like whatever you're doing is going to work out in the long run for you. Your hard work is paying off. You might be starting to see the results now. If you're not now, you soon will be. Um, this is the fuck it deck, so it's not so nice. Um, so it says deja vu, your habit of attracting shit is back. Okay, so I feel like you, the reason why you're the warrior is because you might be, because you're a water sign, so you're empath empathic. So you like to take on other people's situations, other people's struggles, and you might like um, give in to people too much, right? Then you have the angel of fresh air says open your windows and let the shit out. So you might need to like sage your house and like just kind of like get rid of like all the negative energy and try to like bring in some type of like fresh air or just like release some type of tension, okay? You have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life and finding sanctuary, opening yourself to your spiritual source. This is like listening to your intuition, kind of realizing everything happens for a reason, kind of like also noticing, um, you know, I was gonna mind blank. Anyway, okay. Your situation, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Star, and this card did want to come out with the Page of Wands. I feel like you're inspired, or you're finding the inspiration to try to do something else, right? Trying to open up your own business, trying to move, trying to find a new job, a new career, all right? Something sparked a new interest. This could be a new lover as well. You have the star. I feel like things are starting to align. Things are starting to fall into place. This is also a card about like healing and hoping. So you have the wishing card and then you have a wish right here. I feel like um your wishes are going to be granted. Whatever your wish is, if it's starting something new or whatever it is, you got the sun on the bottom of the deck. It's like stay optimistic and keep good thoughts about it. Don't think negative upon the situation because you don't want to bring that into the um into it, right? So stay positive about the situation. Challenges. The Four of Swords, it's like you might be working too much and you're not taking the time to take a rest, take a break. Um, you might, you're not taking time to uh, clear your thoughts, right? Um, what else are you struggling with? I feel like with the Four of Swords and the King of Swords, it's like something, this might be communication that needs to be had right now. Um, the King of Swords is somebody who's able to cut people out of their life pretty easily, like, psh, because they don't, you know, want to deal with the crap. You do have the King of Swords and the Star, which is Aquarius. You might be dealing with Aquarius. Actions and advice is the Tower, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like maybe you're fearing of being alone, so you're holding on to something that you know isn't really working out for you. You're holding on to something or someone that isn't, like, really, um doing any justice. I feel like everything that needed to be learned has already been learned and now it's time to move on. But the tower is just saying, you know, as an actions and advice, it's like, let it crumble so you can rebuild it. If you're rebuilding it by yourself, if you're rebuilding it together, you might be rebuilding it by yourself with the nine of pentacles. I almost forgot what card it was, but it's like, you know how it says all your hard work is going to pay off. That's what this card is saying too. It's also talking about self-care, self-love, really focusing on your money, your career, your stability, 
um, Page of Pentacles, it's like, you do have two messenger cards. You might be dealing with somebody who's immature or somebody who's younger than you. If not, it might be just saying there is good news coming in for you in a form of message. Um, it could be a job. It could be a career. It doesn't matter. I'm, isn't that the same thing? It could be a job. It could be a love. It could be a new home that you're waiting on. You know, something like that. What else do we have? You have self-image. Which, like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles, we are all perfectly imperfect and must be mindful not to downsize or degrade or dull the shine of our own light. I'm sick, so if you see me like taking breaths, that's why. This is an omen to signify that attention is needed on your own self-image or to be made aware of how others around you are seeing themselves. Love the entire being that you are. Be kind to your own reflection. So it's like, don't be too hard on yourself. Realize that you are all that you need and you are fine the way that you are. You have poor health, which might mean that you are either in a, a situation that's kind of like draining your health or kind of draining your energy. So it's like an unhealthy situation or you might just really have some type of health issues. But it says your spirit guides and spirits, your guides in spirit are bringing your attention to your health. There are signs of neglect, abuse, and addictive habits. This is an omen that your health needs improvement. Take time for meditation, restful sleep, avoid bad influences and stressful situations. Your mind, body, and soul deserve the best. The bottom of the deck says universal law. It's time for law and order. This is an omen of warning for those who have abused their position of power or who have violated the spiritual laws of magic. Someone has tried to take advantage of others and manipulate a situation. This is a reminder that everything comes full circle, full circle and all actions are intent returns to the sender. Okay, so this is like karma. So somebody's about to receive a bad karma for doing something that they did to you. Right? You got Sagittarius here, adventurous, independent, humorous. Um, you got Pisces, mystic, dreamer, artistic, receptive, re visionary. All right, so you might be dealing with Pisces, Sag, Cancer, Aries, Libra. Powerhouse, leader, authority. So this is now time for you to take action and take charge of your own life, okay? So this is like standing up for yourself, doing what you got to do. Being a leader now, not allowing other people to kind of control the situation or control whatever you got going on, right? I feel like it's time for you to take care of yourself. Self-care. Alright? So, that's what I got. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Toodles.